This is an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. I was suffering from heart palpitations, an irregular heartbeat, and poor circulation. During the meeting I was attending, Matt said that God wanted to heal a heart condition. It was not until I went to the altar that the power of God hit me. It also felt like my rib cage was being opened up and stretched out. I now have freer breathing, my chest cavity has opened up, and my heart is now beating normally. Kim, California. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. Hallelujah. Because Jesus came to give life and life more abundantly. And healing is part of the abundant life of Christ. And then I was in another meeting and there was a gentleman that came in with a cane. His body was full of cancer. And I just believe God wants to put such an authority and anointing on the body of Christ, on the church, that cancer cannot survive. And this man came in with a cane. Cancer all in his body. I did not know he had cancer. And the Lord said, I'm going to heal cancer. And we spoke that out. And this man came forward. I remember him coming forward. And I put my hand on the top of his head. And you know, when I prayed for him, he didn't shake. He didn't fall. He didn't do nothing. He just stood there. And if you look just by outward appearance, you'd say, oh, he wasn't healed. Nothing happened. But a little while later, as we kept going throughout that altar time and prayer ministry, that man turned around, threw his cane on the floor. He said, I don't need this thing anymore. All the pain is gone out of my body. That was Saturday night. Monday morning, he had a scheduled, previously scheduled doctor's appointment. He went in. They did a full scan on his body. They took blood work and blood testing on him. And the the pastor sent me the doctor's report, sent me that doctor's report. And the doctor called Larry in, that was his name, Larry, called him in and he said, I need to tell you something. And Larry braced himself because he was waiting for the doctor to say the cancer had spread more in his body because the cancer at this point had spread through his bones, had spread through his shoulders, his chest, and his leg. His legs were now getting full of cancer. It was just taking over his whole body. And he was bracing himself for a report. And the doctor said, I can't find one trace of cancer in your body at all. At all. And he did blood work. Now there's something, I'm going to get a little technical. It's called a prostate-specific antigen. And it's a protein in the prostate that measures, I guess, cancer. And in a normal blood, normal blood, it's one to four. That's the count of it, one to four. So in September... His PSA level was 76. In October, it was 145. In November, it was 220. And by Christmas, it was 357. And the cancer was just spreading throughout his body. And when he went and had the blood work done on Monday, after Saturday night, the count came back 1.1. 1 1.1. Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus, and I am so glad, I am so glad when I was in my third year of going pre-med to study medicine and God called me to ministry that I followed the call because I tell you what, Dr. Jesus is better than any doctor I could have ever been. Hallelujah. And I believe in medicine. I believe God uses doctors, but I also believe there are times where there's just an incurable situation, an impossible situation, and you need a divine doctor that has a different report than the report of man. And th hallelujah, that's right, it's free. It's free, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna ask the worship team to come back. How many believe Jesus is in the house tonight? How many believe when Jesus is, is in the house that all things become possible? All things become possible. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I just release the anointing over this whole place. I release the anointing in the presence of God. If you want to touch or need a touch from heaven tonight, stand up to your feet. Whether it's a healing, a deliverance, a breakthrough, a hunger in your heart for something of God, whatever it may be, God knows exactly what it is. Just stand up to your feet. And right now, as we start to worship, we're just going to invite the anointing of God to begin to move through this place. 
from the front to the back, left to right, right to left, all around this place. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence here tonight. And Lord, we know that in the weightiness of your glory, the lightnings of God go forth. The lightnings of God. And just close your eyes right now. Close your eyes all around this place. Close your eyes. And the only thing I want you to see right now is Jesus. I want you to see Jesus tonight. I want you to see him. I want you to draw near to him in your worship. Jesus. Jesus. God's hand is bigger. God's hand is bigger even than any person's hand. His name is greater than any name of any sickness or the name of any affliction in your life. His name is greater. Holy Spirit is in the room. He's in the room right now. And even now, some of you are going to start to sense his presence. You're going to start to feel the presence of God, waves of God just going over you. You're going to start to feel the weight of his presence settle upon you. And in the moment of that divine touch of God, things align in your body. Things align in your soul. Things align in your mind. And freedom comes. Healing and wholeness comes. Anointing comes. Joy comes. Weeping remains for a night. Trials remain for a night. But joy always comes in the morning. And I decree over you tonight, your morning is here. Sun rises in the morning. And the sun is arising upon you tonight. His glory is arising and shining upon you and within you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. There are certain promises in the scriptures that only now are we beginning to understand. And there is a fullness coming to the body of Christ that will help us in our understanding of health. Secrets in the Bible teach us how to not only move in the realm of God's glory, but also live in God's healing power to the point that sickness can't even touch us. In this teaching series, Creating a Sickness-Free Glory Zone, you will be empowered to understand God's will to heal and how to effectively release God's healing power to others. You will also learn how to accelerate the manifestation of a miracle and see a hedge of protection released around the church that none would become sick and die prematurely. Order Creating a Sickness-Free Glory Zone, a four-CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 today. For international orders, please visit us at mattsorger.com. Matt Sorger Ministries is growing with you. Lives are being touched every day with the power of Jesus Christ through our mission work around the world and our television program, Power for Life. Your love and support means so much to us. Would you consider becoming a power partner with MSM? For only $30 a month, $1 a day, you will receive a monthly teaching from Matt on CD and MP3 and come under the ministry's prayer cover. You will also receive a 10% discount on all ministry resources and MSM hosted conferences. For $50 a month or more, you will receive an additional benefit, MSM's all new premium online partner section, where you will have exclusive access to video conference volumes filled with powerful teachings from today's top Christian ministries. 
To become a monthly MSM Power Partner, please call 631-696-4950 or visit mattsorger.com. Together, we're making a difference in people's lives around the world. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.